Now there are those cynical non-believers, if you like, who think that because the British climate isn't always sunny, there isn't a lot of point in having solar energy. But in actual fact, these two panels here, even on a day like today when it's pouring with rain, because there's a bit of bright sunlight around, there is noticeable warmth com coming out of those panels. And these two panels will supply the hot water for this three bedroom house. In the winter, you may get 20, 25%. In the summer, you get a full 100%. So the plumbers are just about to put on the second panel here now and connect it up to the first one with a simple push fit. Once that's done and it's connected up down to the cylinder below, the whole system is filled up with a mixture of antifreeze which is then pumped around the system continuously and this takes the heat from the panels down into the hot water cylinder. Now the question that everybody asks is what's the payback period? If you want to install solar panels how quickly will you get your money back? And of course a lot depends upon how sunny it is and how much hot water you use but you can work on a typical payback period of say 10 years. Now there are grants available and these will change according to certain circumstances so we can't be too definite but certainly from day one you'll begin to get your money back and of course you will be making a very useful contribution to lowering your carbon emissions. Now the solar panels have been mounted on the roof outside there's only the pipe work inside to complete and up here Richard's just putting on the air release valve which makes sure there's no air trapped in the top of it and then the pipe work is run down in copper now it's a long way down to the cylinder here because it's all going to be used as a display house but you could actually in a loft like this mount the cylinder in the loft itself it's well insulated provided it's well supported it would be close to the solar panel which would make a nice short run there and of course you'd then run the the pipes down to the kitchen and the, and the bathroom without any difficulty at all so on those circumstances with a loft like this it would be a very easy installation.